Gateshead will be looking to get back to winning ways after that defeat in midweek away to Halifax. And the Gateshead fans behind us are in good voice. Without uh, saying any more, there will be a minute silence here for Her Royal Majesty the Queen the passing of the monarch. Now he clears the ball centrally up towards Harris. Harris doesn't win the header, and now it's been brought down by Boreham Wood in midfield, and they try and open up and get it inside. As the Sawney manages to get the ball after good work from Story. Ball put over the top for Harris to run onto from Ollie. It's down the left hand side of the box. He keeps it at the touchline and goes out for a corner there. Good defending. Well, the delivery is going to have to be good here because we've mentioned Boreham Wood are a big, strong physical side here. The big men have come up for Gateshead as the ball goes towards the back post. And oh, Ashmore had to tip it off the bar there. And it's been hooked clear by Boreham Wood. That and looked like it was going in, didn't it? It did, didn't it? <laughs> as he rolls the ball out in between two Boreham Wood players, looking for the run of Tinkler. It's a deep ball, nodded in back runs there but he picks out Tinkler like a perfect pass and now Tinkler puts it inside to Ward, Ward's got Ollie who's took in the right touch then inside to Hassani, to Campbell back to Hassani, can he get a shot off, he can what a finish, oh. what a finish Hassani with his left boot just smashes it into the back of the net, Ashmore didn't have a chance down to his left hand side it was looked a tight angle but Gateshead we said before the first touches were letting them down. That was some nice little flicks and uh, nods down there. Yeah, and it, for me it looked a little bit like ping ball, but for him to catch that, the timing, it was just absolutely spot on on his left foot in the bottom hand corner. Well, Lyra Cassani scores his first goal in Gated Colours and he's done it at home. Well, Cassani puts it down, throws it down the lines, but nodded on. Ollie picks up the ball in midfield, picks out Campbell. Campbell plays a ball over the top for the run of Ward. Ward, good ball control there. He's up against Stevens. Stevens crosses off him, and it's a, co it's a goal a corner. And then it's a goal kick. Good work from Dan Ward there. There's Ward and Hassani are on the edge of the box, looking to pick up any balls that may come out. In it goes. Bailey tries to go for the header, falls to Hassani. Now Ward on the edge of the box. Oh, it just rose as soon as it left his boots. But that's Great what. Set. Ashmore with the goal kick. Powerful kick all the way up there. Bailey wins the header in midfield, but it's been hit, hit across by Kelly Evans. Nudlove puts it through for Reese. Reese tries to get through on goal. Great tackle from Daly. Whoa, what a way to introduce yourself to the Tyne and Wales stand. As Gates have cleared the ball, but only as far as Evans, who. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, he got a shot away, and Langley had to have two bites of the cherry there and had to step back into his own goal. Langley gets it at his feet. Now he goes long up towards Tinkler. Tinkler loses out to Brunt. But Ollie gets it forward. Tinkler wins the ball, but it comes off a player. And Ollie goes across, wins the ball, gets it in good tackle. Now gets it a nice bit of passage. Passing there. Ollie just turns, plays the ball forward. Campbell controls it well this time, gets it through to Ward. Ward from the edge of the box. Can he shoot? He pulls the trigger, he just didn't get a hold of it, and it bobbles past the post. Putting the pressure on from the front as Ashmore on the edge of his box has to control it. Clears the ball up towards Tyrone Marsh. It's netted, headed clear by Bailey. Brunt goes into the back of... Oh, oh and that was a... That was a nasty oh, tap. A nasty collision of heads there by Reese into Bailey. And the Gated fans and players are not happy. Bailey... I on thought it. the first one was bad enough. I thought there would have been a foul on the first second. one. The linesman... The yellow card is going to come out for Josh Reese. And now Nudlove brings it down on the edge of the box, gives it to Lewis. Lewis tries to cut inside. He does get past his man, goes for his shot, straight into the arms of Langley. As now pumped forward. As Taylor Marsh, did he wrestle Tinkler to the ground? He did. He had his arms around him. And it's a free kick to Gateshead. Similar start to this half as the first half. Very scrappy. 
both teams not having much control. Well, that as was we poor from away. Langley as he's given away as Gated now have given out the way and they've co they've caused their own downfall here. A poor ball by Langley to Hassani. It wasn't great. It wasn't to him. It was intercepted and now Boreham would have got themselves level. Number seven. Josh if they do set the traps, you've yep. got to be wary of this. As Josh Reese was the man that ruled it practically into an empty net. Now we're taking the free kick. As the ball is pumped up towards the edge of the box, there's a lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, tussling there. Can't get to clear the ball. Ollie back clears the ball over his head, but falls to Sami who plays it in. And now Reese is on side, goes for the shot. Ward manages, uh, sorry, Langley manages to parry it out for a corner. Campbell gets in front of Evans. Big height discrepancy there, but Evans does well to win the ball back and clear it. Bruni as far as a gated player. Nice pick off from Ward. Campbell goes for the shot. Ashmore claims it. Just needed a little bit more power. Brunt turns Ollie. He's going to play it across to Nudlow, who's on the edge of the box. He's got the overlap. He wants it, but goes for the shot and deflected. And it's going to fall to Marsh, who puts it past the post. It was an open goal. He should have done better. And Tyrone Marsh, for some reason, complains to his teammates. What a look you escaped that gate it did. It's always a good sign when you pin a defence back, but they've got to try and break it down as Bailey gets the ball. Was he fouled? No. Strong Brunt goes forward. He's still driving with the ball. Picks out Nudlove on the right-hand side. There's only Marsh in the middle. There's four gates of defenders back. Still no one to support shot off from the edge of the box straight into Langley's chest Ollie back to Tinkler Tinkler nice bit of footwork Ollie drives forward into the box on the right hand side can he cross it in he can it's been headed behind for a corner and that is a lot better from Gateshead Ollie receives the ball gives it to Bailey Bailey on the edge of the box as people are saying shoot gets it inside to Ward Ward can lead off of Yusuf oh fantastic save what a save from Ashmore you won't see a better save anywhere Yusuf struck it low and he just palmed it away and it's a corner at the gate said was it his palm I thought I th it was his foot I thought it was his palm from where I thought they had a player in front of him from where I seen it Gator with the corner in now Magni challenging for it it's been headed clear only as far as Hassan he can get to get the ball back in the box they can't there's the full-time whistle and Gate said have a point here today they may feel it should have been free due to the defensive calamity is all you can really say with bad communication at the back Boreham Wood they'll probably be happy with the point because they didn't really create that much they didn't um Daniel Langley did not have a lot to do at all but you know what despite the lack of chances from Boreham Wood they've put on a fantastic display against Gated and for Thank it being a low score draw that was an exciting game